All right, guys, so today we're doing another VOD review of me playing Solos Fortune's Keep. And I'm going to give you guys some tips for Solos. Also, uh, we're going to focus a lot on gun mechanics and gunfights and also uh, my pace of play within those gunfights. All right, and also using information. So if you guys haven't seen my last one, my last one is more of a like macro, big picture kind of tips and tricks. If you guys haven't seen that, it's going to be at the end of the video. But this one's going to be a little bit more detailed on the gunfight like perspective. So here we land and I'm trying to get a pick here. I get a gun right away and I'm armoring. But there's someone right behind me and I got no audio cue and I got RPG'd. So here's the first example of bad mechanics. Like not only did I get stuck a whole bunch of times, like twice there, but I also canceled my... Uh, was my, my armoring right i canceled my freaking armoring right here because i had bad mechanics okay but i was able to get a crack on him and i went for the clip but it didn't work sadly i died but it's okay we're gonna come back um but yeah so just making sure that you like fully armor which is a big issue also if you guys notice what i did here all right, I knew I screwed up, so I made a play to change positions instead of holding that spot. And I changed positions into this crate, and he got confused. So he thought that I went either behind the tank in this area, uh, which I didn't, and I slide cancel out perfectly to catch him in his sprinting animation. I was able to get some shots, but like I said, we still died, but going for the clip, right? So here, we're coming back. And if you guys didn't see my last video, one of the big tips was pace of play because my big issue in the last one was I took too long to armor up. So here we get one armor, we're full plated, we get an AR SMG, we're making the play. So here we're pushing this guy and I want you guys to see what I decided to do here. So I slid behind this cover, okay? I know that doesn't seem like a very important thing, but when you're using movement, and you don't have cover, you're gonna die, right? Because you're out in the open, especially if you're this far out. So see, he's on the open, he's not doing anything. I was able to get a nice down on him and kill him. But um, the importance of using movement to get into cover, I feel like is way more important and underrated than just having amazing movement. Because old me, I would do like either slide cancel and challenge him from like this far, or and and then it'll be a 50 50 or i'll jump and try to bunny hop like two three times right here and then it'll still be like a 50 50 but instead i went to the easy slide cancel behind some cover and challenge this i know it seems like a really stupid thing but um you don't really think about it until you go back and watch your vod reviews and you're like dude i'm an idiot right i i like try to challenge him in the middle of like nowhere with like all this movement and it didn't work so easy kill nice revenge crazy pack a loss i don't know why i've been getting pack a loss like crazy um but yeah so making sure to use cover while moving and then here we got a lot of people just landing back and i want to talk about using information for like your your pace of play so here all these people are flying down on me i don't know why and i'm trying to make a a play on this guy so I, I was able to get a knock get a thirst i'm waiting for this other guy to push me but i get no audio and there's a guy behind me so right here's another example of me having bad mechanics with my plating because i'm i'm so low look how low i am look how low that is all right i'm like one tick away from dying so i'm panicking and i didn't take the time to actually armor up here and I end up dying eventually, but look, look how long it took him to get to me, right? I would have had two plates up if I played it better and I took my time and I didn't like stress out too much. And not only that, look at him. He's he just like running on the open. Like he's not even slide cancel or anything. If we slide cancel, we would have had like like eight like uh, crosshairs up before him. And we would have been able to win that fight. But here we're landing back, all right? So we're trying to get some kills here. Uh, let's see red dots on the buy here and then these are bad shots no trigger discipline that's bad because i don't have a silenced weapon and only that if i got a crack or a down i wouldn't be able to capitalize that right away so still very active and as you can see very active and i, I have like two plates and a gun and i'm pushing right because i'm trying to be uh i'm trying to increase my gunfights 
And then now I finally took the time to armor up because it's low down. So somehow the first guy wasn't a down. And then this guy, just, he just disappears. We try to we get third party here a little bit. And then because no one's pushing us, we hear nothing. We're, we're pushing this other guy. So the guy who I cracked and disappeared, he went away. And then now we're trying to push the other guy because that's the last information we have on an enemy. So uh, one more thing. So we get third party by this idiot here. He cracks me, almost hit that snipe, but right here, very important on how you rotate after getting damaged. So I could have gone like towards this truck and played behind this truck, or I could have gone into the shed, but those two options are like, a little obvious. So what I decided to do is I go down this way, All right? And then you could also go down and make a right, right and then go like try to loop behind him but the reason why i didn't do that was just because i didn't want to give him some audio cues and me not know that i'm giving him audio cues so rotate over here and it's just like a third party central right here so this guy is flying from the air i don't know why he's trying to do that and then here we get caught out with our pants down Missed that shot, but another third party hit that shot, and then sadly I missed this one too. If I hit all three of those, man, I would have like, shit my pants. But uh, so that guy just thirsted my kill for me, and we're backing up, and we're just trying to get some better guns because my Swiss is out of ammo. And then right there, we hear that there's people fighting. Right, we see the red dots, so we're trying to make another play here. And those red dots were behind, like over there near that blue shed. And someone just bought Lodi. So we're pushing forward. Um, that guy dipped. He went right, so we're trying to push and fight this guy. But then he ends up fighting someone else. I think he gets stuck right here. Yeah, he got stuck right here. And then I start shooting this guy. I miss a lot of shots, but thank God he was low already, right? Right here. Look at how many shots I miss. Right here, I stop shooting and he's only gonna go one away, right? He's either gonna go through this door or hide in this corner. And I slow down and I just finally hit the shots and kill him. And then now we're just switching guns real quick, still aware of like what's happening on the minimap. The guy is flying back, the guy I just killed, and he's flying towards my Lodi. So that means he's most likely landing on his Lodi as well. So I go and I try to challenge that. He's on top of this roof here. Get a few shots on him, but sadly didn't get the down and I pushed forward. And then here I'm being aggressive and I didn't reload and it's gonna cost me here. So kind of wasting time here. Cause so there he is and 21 bullets and nothing happens. I tried to airstrike that, but it didn't happen. And then also another very important thing here is running tracker. Or like the third perk, you either run amp, tracker, or combat scout. And this is why I love tracker. It's because like this rose, I would have never seen this rose skin because I'm already choosing my my class, right? And also I look and I just see red footprints into this dark corner. And you're gonna see me utilize uh, tracker so often in this game. You guys might want to switch tracker or combat scout to tracker. So get some nice shots on that guy. And then right here, right? red footsteps on top of this tent and then i see this guy on the right here too so i thought he was gonna shoot me so i try to reach out but then i get all disoriented get a crack but as i get that crack i hear people fighting in the tower and also a red dot so instead of pushing that and beyond the open i challenge this kill this guy and then back up i armor right i don't loot him right away i armor and then i slow down I reload and I make sure both my guns are reloaded. And then I hear audio. Trigger discipline here. The reason why I didn't shoot right away, the reason why I didn't shoot right away right here is because he is, he has the opportunity to exit through that door or cut my line of sight behind these stairs, which is why I didn't shoot. If he was closer like to my, in this area, I would shoot because he had no cover. Uh, not only that, but then I'm looking at the map too, and I'm getting this ping that the guy is coming back. So I decide not to shoot, and then it's a free kill on this guy. 
and I rotate around. I don't push to that same door that I just was just fighting at because I know he knows I'm in that area. And then they start fighting and look this tracker. It's amazing. And the boom right here, red footsteps and a, into the dark corner, right? If you had combat scout, you would not see this guy. So I was able to get that kill because of tracker. And then here, right? Everyone's beginning Lodi. Everyone has like subsonic and like silencers on. So it slowed down my pace of play. And now it's very crucial because I'm like, okay, I need to get UAVs. So I go, I pick up a UAV here. Let's see. And I try to go fight these guys. Um, here, I was trying to catch this other guy, but it didn't really work out. Instead, he wanted to go fight this guy and he died. I should have anticipated that he was going to push this way, and I, but I didn't. Um, but I go this way, and then boom, right here, right? If I didn't have tracker, I know I'm an idiot and I'm super blind, but if I didn't have tracker and I had combat scout, I would have ran left. Because any other smart person would not take this staircase, right? You want to hop out of this and you want to go like around or do something else. But because I had tracker, I see, I look left and then I look right. And this dude's right here. So I, got a, I definitely got a few kills because of tracker. And tracker is like the perk I'm running if I'm not sniping. And then I get still get pings on the map. I know there's a guy on top of uh, keep right here and this guy, right? So I just look at keep real quick to see if I can get a few beams. And I think this guy came back from the, like, from the gulag or something. Or not gulag, but redeploy. So get some nice clean shots there. Um, and then we're going to go buy another UAV because like we have no information. So here is me fighting against essentially three people. So, so this is how I play because I know a lot of people are really aggressive and they're like super good, but I'm just like the average COD player. So I slow down because there's this guy right in front of me. Um, he's on this high ground. So I know he's right here somewhere. I don't want him to catch me sprinting. So I'm holding this angle just to make sure I get a third of the next ping and he's on this top floor. So there's three people in this area. <clears throat> I push in and this next ping, I'm waiting for the next ping to see what happens. And these two are on top of me and this guy is on the same floor as me. So I try to challenge this guy in market real quick, but nothing happens. I back up and everyone's shooting here, right? So right when it gets active here, other people slow down when it gets active like this, but uh, this is your chance to make as much noise as you can to get into a better position because there's so much noise happening. Like people don't really know where to look. And you're gonna see here, because there's so much noise and this guy's so focused on shooting the other dude, I catch him looking down at someone else. And then get that first kill. Slow down my pace of play, armor up, make sure all my guns are reloaded. I threw this decoy just to distract other people. I reload, make sure everything's good. And then boom, this guy lands on this tower, right? So he's either inside the tower or he's on top of the roof. And majority of the time, people are gonna jump on top of the roof because he might think that I have rotated into the tower, right? Cause he doesn't know where I am. So his safe point is on top of the roof. So I'm anticipating he's gonna be he's gonna be on the roof, which he was. Easy kill. But don't forget when we had that UAV up, there was still two other dudes, right? So I'm slowing down here, remembering that there's two more dudes in this building somewhere, and I tr I'm trying to get these kills. So I was about to peek, but then they started fighting, and an easy third party, and they're dead. And like I said, this is where UAVs are super important because not that many red dots are on the map anymore um because everyone has their loadie everyone got suppressed rounds in um so i'm going to pop a loadie or uav right here get beamed by a dude on top of keep tower but i don't waste my airstrike some people get really upset you're gonna beam that from across the map but then i would have wasted an airstrike so i pop uav i save my airstrike and this airstrike is gonna help me get two kills right here so i open the map and like so there's three people I can hold and keep. There's a people, there's a person inside this stupid tower, and there's three people in winery, right? And there's people in grotto. So I'm gonna try to hold these people at keep real quick. I push forward, try to get a nice angle, right? If you see what I'm doing here, I'm getting a nice angle. I have like a wall on my right for cover. 
I know that there's a dude in that tower right from the UAV so if anything happens I could jump forward and also the the dude in the keep tower might have like or not the keep tower the winery tower might have a harder time hitting me because I'm I'm lower instead of like on the top of the roof so see this guy get a nice few beams <clears throat> airstrike here because they're they're all stuck right they all have to fight each other and they're all in the gas so easy picks and that guy comes out and i shoot him okay so right here is really important as well because this is where i slow down my pace of play um i try to get this beam on this dude but he has spawn protection he went into the gas and then he's coughing right here but i don't know where the hell he went and then um resurgence is disabled right so I'm still waiting here to try to get a pick on this dude. Uh, but eventually I end up leaving because I realized that respawn is disabled. And also if you look at the map, I'm out of position, right? Grabbing a bounty during end game is also very good because it shows you where enemies are. So if you have the opportunity to do it, definitely do it. Um, but yeah, so I'm out of circle here and I'm starting to realize that. So. I'm like, I need to get in better positioning. And then right here, I was gonna push these guys because I wanted to get higher kill game, but resurgence is disabled. So I changed my mind. I'm like, I gotta play positioning. And the best thing to do, if you guys remember, there was people in grotto, there was people in winery, and there was people in tower. Uh, and also don't forget the guy came back from resurgence. So I'm being careful when I'm sweeping my left, just to make sure I don't get caught out. But the best play here is just to rotate around um around winery try to get out this backside and just clear these rooms so here we're clearing and thankfully we had the bounty uh this bounty actually helped me make sure that i clear this all the way through instead of like getting caught out so if you guys are at the end game make sure to grab bounties or uh big game contracts those are very helpful so it was that dude shooting in the tower, so I was assuming this guy was in this tower, but I get caught right here, and he was down low. He gets really nice beams on me, and I rotate out. So instead of trying to reach out him in a stupid way, I try to get into a different position, and I heard I heard his audio cue, and we both child each other here, and I think we had like an even exchange. And I'm playing these barrels for cover, right? So if he if he was to jump, so right here we exchange, and then I'm right behind these barrels. So right here I'm behind these barrels, and I'm if he jumps through here or something, like one that wall is like a bitch to jump through, and two if he does, then I have these barrels and he's gonna be out in the open. And I hear coughing, so I'm assuming that he rotated all the way around. And then I can never jump over these damn barrels. And then all of a sudden, he shoots me behind because I have tracker. You see how hard it is to get through that stupid fence? So I was able to get that kill. But then after I got that kill, it wasn't the bounty. The bounty went all the way around for some weird reason. And he's trying to make us like a crazy gas play. So I slow down here. I'm kind of keeping my eyes this way because don't forget, there's people in Grotto, right? We're trying to make sure there's no one pushing because it's getting active on our side. People might want a third party. So keep my eyes out that way. And then because no one's there, I look around because the bounty pushed forward. So I'm thinking he's right behind this wall. He's fighting as someone from someone from Grotto. I switched my AR again. Nice pick on this guy. And there's only two guys left, right? So if you guys remember the gas pushed all the way through this way. So there's a low chance right that there's someone on my left for sure there was a guy at grotto so then there's only one person missing all right so we're trying to search this area we're scanning this whole area over here because like i said earlier we know that there's most likely no one on the left um and there's someone on top of grotto so this is the second guy right so because we're beating this guy and he's running from right to left we know he's not the guy at grotto so get a kill on the stand and we know this guy is on this left here somewhere so um the reason why i didn't push out further left and try to get into circle right away was because there's not much cover on this left hand side and i want to make sure that he doesn't catch me in the open and like beam me on top of this wall so we play a little slow 
circle's coming we rotate real quick turn around hear him cough get a nice few beams and a bam so that's how we were able to get 22 kills and solos i hope that helps if you guys want more information about like macro gameplay or like bigger picture gameplay and also like why you don't get that many kills um go ahead and check out my new my other video i'll post it at the end of this, this video here and also if you guys like some like the video you guys learn anything go ahead and smash the like button um and if you made it all the way through thank you so much you guys are the best and if you guys like my stuff subscribe you guys don't have to if you guys don't want to i'm just happy you guys watch through the whole video so i'll see you guys next time good luck in Warzone. um yeah peace